Okay, welcome to this video. Um, this is a continuation in this uh, series of videos about uh, FileZilla FTP server. In this case, I just want to uh, talk about a problem that we face is the, is the uh, uh, you cannot connect and there is an error saying 425 can't open data connection for transfer. Uh, in my case, uh, this happened because um, I had the listen port set uh, and allowed by the firewall, but uh, the connecting ports were not set yet. Um, I'll show you um, how to solve this problem. Um, I'm running, in this particular case, the FileZilla FTP server on Windows 8.1 and with McAfee firewall on. Um, this uh, configuration um, of the FTP server I have uh, listening on port 2121 and with the uh, connecting ports from 11,000 to 12,000. Um, uh, this happened as I was mentioning is because the uh, McAfee firewall was not set properly and I'll show you how to set it properly. First of all also I want to show you that uh, it wasn't Windows Firewall set, and F Windows Firewall has uh, delegated uh, firewall duties to McAfee. Uh, we can verify that by coming here to the Windows Firewall and seeing that uh, no matter what we do here in the inbound rules, uh, it's actually McAfee the one that is going to be handling it. So we close this, and then we go to McAfee to set it, set it up properly. First of all, let me show you what is the version of McAfee that I'm running. There are different versions here, but uh, the one that we are interested on is the personal firewall, which is version 16. And to set it up properly, we go here to firewall, we go to the settings, and we have firewall. And there are so many options here, but the one that uh, you're interested on is uh, ports and system services. And first of all, in some cases, you will find that this is completely deselected and you will basically not be able to connect at all. But um, I have checked this on and also I added the port 21 to do one that we wanted but I forgot to add the port range as well. So uh, to do that, you click here, edit, and you come down and you add the port range. You say save, and I think, uh, McAfee firewall is intelligent enough that as soon as you're doing the saving is already enacted so uh, I think we should be able to be ready to test it let's go to a different machine it's on the same uh, network the same subnet actually and um, let's try to connect again And as you can see here in the log, uh, yes, everything is successful. And I can see on the client as well that everything is successful. Okay, I uh, hope this uh, helps you to solve your, the problem if you encounter the same problem as me. And uh, thank you very much.